it's, it's just great to watch a customer's reaction the first time they pick up an ink stick and they've never had one before, you know, and they're like, wow, what is this? It's like, well, is this the cartridge? Where is the cartridge? How does this work? And to have them load an ink stick into a printer uh, for the first time, it's like an aha moment. This was really a breakthrough uh, technology in our minds, and a lot of us had put a lot of hard effort into this in the late 80s and early 90s. You know, originally it was all about uh, getting color on just plain paper. That was, that was the main thing. With the other technologies out there, you had to use special paper. This is the nice stuff, right? This is business quality paper. You could use recycled media, 100% recycled media, and your prints will all look great. If things are complex, then they become expensive for the customer. We try to find the simplest way to make any other component that goes into our solid ink. Because we don't have cartridges, uh, we don't have to pay for that manufacturing, we don't have to pay for that shipping. Our 8870 uh, printer uh, has color for the price of black and white. And this technology was designed from day one to be a color printing technology. We've never had a black and white solid ink printer. A lot of thought went into how we would utilize the technology, what the customer interface would be. And we could have made this ink into powder or balls or pellets. The model that we used was a stapler, which was basically you could open the stapler, you drop it in staples, you close it. Everybody knew how to do that. One of the things that I hear the most about is, is our ink load system and how we put consumables into the, into the printer. I've actually heard that some customers fight over who gets to add ink to the printer next. That's cool, like that's what makes your day. When someone looks at it and goes, this is awesome, what is this? And you're like, this is what I do. This is my job, is I make this. So we've evolved from a small operation where everything was up by hand to now a highly automated, very large factory, which makes all the world's supply of solid ink for Xerox. Having the manufacturing of the ink here in Wilsonville um, lets us manage the quality. They seem like simple crayons, but in reality, you know, we've invented molecules. I probably invented 5,000 molecules and maybe about um, 700 dyes. We had a vision, even from the early days, that we would have solid ink on the desktop up through production. And it took us a few more years than I would have liked to have seen, but we have that today. We're up to 2,000 pages a minute, um, and we haven't really gotten anywhere near the theoretical limits of how fast solid ink can go. So we test uh, full coverage images, which is not particularly customer-like, but we run it to the max to verify that in all cases it, it exceeds life. And we had just finished running a test of about 100,000 prints on competitive machines. And we we're looking at this, we're talking about, you know, the normal printer speed specs and all that. We were really bored with it all. And then someone happened to notice, hey, those guys have a lot of waste. And we all looked over and there was a wall of trash. It's the most environmentally friendly uh, technology out there when you look at the entire life cycle, which we've done. Solid ink was, in a sense, sustainable because of the, because it tends to be waxy. And the feedstock for that type of a system tends to be from natural sources like plants. You know, this, is, this sort of you know, work to be greener it is just a way of life for us out here. It was not the conscious thought, it's just the way we work. What we were trying to do is build a color product that offers just dead simple ease of use and the print quality that you need in a, in a color printer. It's a true engineering feat that we get this um, going, but we have a lot less uh, complicated stuff that the customer has to deal with. That's where I get a lot of my energy, uh, even going forward after all these years, is, is seeing things shipped, knowing customers are using our products and they're solving real world problems, and people are actually productively using the stuff that we work on so hard. And, and more than anything, I just want to ask them a million questions about what it is that they like and they don't like. You know, see if the things that I enjoy about Solid Ink are the same things that they do.